So David, tell me, Messengers of Peace and the Foundation, it seems to have been just you for quite some time, along with some support people, and then you had messengers who have come and gone. Right now it seems to be growing. How do you see that? Hmm. I don't really think of it in terms of growth, but I do just see it as the use of symbols and, and it's always the same for me, just this joy feeling and uh, but it's a sense of just watching and allowing so people come and people go, the faces have changed and you might say in terms of the world it seems to grow or shrink and now it seems like there's more coming here to visit, but then again I'm all over uh, the world so it just seems like it's part of a big symphony and this is just the way that uh, it looks right now. So do you think that um, it seems that more people are being drawn to truth and to the message that you're sharing? Does it feel that way, that there is more inspiration and more desire to go deeper with you? I think it seems that way, but it doesn't feel that way. To me, it, again, it's like the, this quality of sameness. So mm -hmm. there's no growing or shrinking or more or less in, mm -hmm. in the state of mind or in the feeling. However, in what seems to be, it seems like there's more activity that travel around. I mean, obviously, meet more people, and so it seems to be growing in terms of the world. Mm -hmm. In Ireland recently, um, the people there are expressing a joy in coming together. Uh, there seem to be more people who are coming together in groups to share uh, and to go deeper and to get some understanding and, and take their spiritual journey to another level. Um, and there seems to be a power in coming together in that. It feels as though people come together around a message that has some integrity um, and that message appears to come through you. For you, obviously what you're saying is that the people who are touched by that just are in the dream and they seem to come and go and that has um, no real impact for you, but they they come and they hear and they take what is needed for their own minds. Would that be how you see it? Is that how it feels? I'm trying to find in my own mind how that would be. Well, it, again, the, the feeling is the same as well as completeness, and so it's there's a sameness. Uh, it's like in the Course of Miracles, Jesus said, uh, make this year different by making it all the same. Uh, those kind of quotes, you know, are beautiful when you understand the teaching and you have an experience of it, because seeing the sameness of all things is what the state of enlightenment is about. Right. In terms of the world, everything in time seems to be in increments and progressions so there seems to be a progressive awakening occurring people are more ready uh, there's more awakening activity going on for example when i went to ireland um, there was much talk about how how the course of miracles was just seeming to to uh, be introduced and to take hold a little bit more because Gary Renard was coming, mm -hmm. and Marianne Williamson was coming, and they were quite excited that this was the first activity of Course of Miracles teachers that were well known coming to Ireland. It was a very new phenomenon, and then me coming was mm -hmm. another thing that they mentioned. And then they had mentioned there was a more broader phenomenon where um, Esther Hicks uh, and the Abraham material uh, had come and. Build the place up, things like Chopra 
had come and filled the hall of a much more of a broader context of just spirituality in general. Mm -hmm. But of course, Irish, you know, legend, you know, when you go back to the Celtic legends and Irish, Irish mystics, you know, the great, great tradition in terms of uh, just Christian mysticism. Yeah is on that island and so on and so forth. So, you know, from a historical perspective, you know, you could say that there have been some recent uh, events, like the events I was just describing, which seem to be a, a symbol for an opening to Course in Miracles. And even more recent, the uh, person going over there, mm -hmm. you were over there, and people, you know, different pockets here and there uh, starting to say, oh, I, I had that book on my shelf and I'm inspired now to take it out and start reading or to join a group or, mm -hmm. you know, those kind of activities were great symbols of this activity that seems to be going on. Mm -hmm. But from the enlightened perspective, there's just the sameness uh, that things are growing, they are shrinking, they are becoming more, they are becoming less. It's just the sense of the quality of sameness is there. So uh, there's nothing to make a fuss about from the enlightened perspective. Mm -hmm. And as they say in Starberry Fields Forever, there's nothing to get tough about either. Uh, it's just the sameness is just very steady. And that's mm -hmm. the joy, the glee of it. It's, it doesn't change. Uh, nothing changes in the world because the perspective on the world is, is a very lofty, mm -hmm. high perspective. Mm -hmm. so, so it almost feels as though it gets to a point where there's nothing more to say. Yeah, there's nothing yeah. that need be said or that mm -hmm. should be said or that ought to be said. Mm -hmm. and yet, it's like a free-flowing uh, flow, and, but actually uh, it's quite humorous, you know. It's just a state of mind that, that is so still. When you're asking me the first uh, question about messengers of peace, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, who are they? Uh, you know, it's very playful. It's it's in there just playing away. You know, and more people coming. Oh, really? Uh, you know, it's you know, it's just quite humorous with the whole thing because it it doesn't take anything of form. Seriously, it's like a skit, and you can say anything you want about the skit, but it's just a skit, so it's, it's quite humorous. Right, right, perfect, yeah, yeah. So the, the sense that I've been hearing just over the last few days that you are the Holy Spirit, that there, um, obviously this is one, this, you are the spirit, this is what, this is the perspective that, you, that you've just expressed. Yeah. When you and the spirit are one, this is what you, how you see the world. Well, apparently that's, and is that the happy dream? That's what the Course calls the happy dream. Yeah. Right. Yes, the body's eyes will continue to report differences, mm. but the healed mind has put them into one category, they are unreal. So it's a great, you know, description mm. from A Course in Miracles of the happy dream of the real world. Mm. So there's no sense of trying to deny something. Uh, it's not trying to, to say this didn't happen or that didn't happen or so on and so forth. There's an experience in mind, but there's, it's not an attempt to to tell the world something. Mm. It's just a, a, an inner experience that just radiates and it, it sees the world in, in a gentle letter in the sense that, that doesn't take anything serious. Mm. It doesn't really take serious. Seems as though it would be a very restful place to be. Yes. Mm. Very peaceful, very tranquil. How oh, perfect. Thank you. Fields forever. Fields forever.